Let's do an oil change today. Mobile one. I've always used a 530 weight matching mobile one filter. For this prelude, it's M1-104A. It's a 17. For reference, this is the front driver side wheel. And there is the oil pan with the plug. Get the loose. Little. I've also received my brand new performance straight from Japan oil drain plug. Precision engineered, carbon fiber gasket. Way better than whatever this came from. So let's see what kind of gains I make with this. Looks like I can install my new drain plug now. I just need to calibrate it before installing it. Special calibration technique. This ensures you get optimum performance out of your plug. Bit of oil. This one, like I said, it has a smaller diameter head. 13 millimeter. After installing that plug, it'll go right up here to the filter. It's above the, uh, this thing. And you twist it out. Oh, I got it on my shirt. Nice. Oh, 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 oh. oh, no, 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 no. Nice. I forgot that I had used the Wix last time. Here's the original. And here is a nice new clean one. Same idea as the drain plug. Bit of lubricant. Make sure that seal is nice and supple. This is what I've seen that people like pour a bit into the cap. pour it into the filter. Don't know why, but I just do it. So I'll twist this back on under the car. Before installing the new one, clean off all this gunk here so you don't get that burnt Honda oil smell. And that is where your replacement will twist on. So before I pour in the new stuff, gotta take it off the jacks. Make sure to clean your funnel before. So let's head past my special edition blue custom spark plug cover to the oil cap. What I usually do is pour in four quarts and then keep adding as it needs it and then constantly checking the dipstick level there. I've poured in about four quarts and I'll give the oil a minute to settle down to the bottom and check the oil on the dipstick before pouring any more in. It's not quite between the lines yet. There you go. It needs a bit more. I poured in another half a quart and it's hard to see but 
looks good to me now. Yeah, it's really hard to see on camera, but I can see it looks good. Sounds good to me. I don't hear any oil leaking under. So I'll let it run for about two minutes, turn it off, check the oil again. Let's check it out again. I keep track of my old changes the old fashioned way. Pen and paper. Don't forget to recycle your oil and filter and you're good to go.